Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, an API to get some information from an API. And we are going to use that data to basically show some random activities. All right, so we are going to get random activities in our application. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my JavaScript skills to import data and fish. So I'm going to get the data from that specific source. And before I do that, you see right here, I have this age one, I'll get random activities. And uh, below it, I have this paragraph and I have given it the class. I named it my paragraph, all right? And it's an empty tag because we are going to fill it with JavaScript. So we are going to use our JavaScript skills to add data that we get inside of that paragraph. So the first thing that you should do is you should start with an async function. So A-S-Y-N-C, and let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so async space, and then you are going to basically say function, the function, and then you are going to add the name of the function. So I'm gonna say get random, uh, get random activity. All right, and two parentheses and two curly braces. Then inside of that function, we are going to create a variable. So I'm going to say variable, and you can call it anything, but I'm going to keep it API URL. All right, equals to two quotations. So we are going to add our API URL inside of these quotations. So let's do that real quick. So let me just zoom out. Let me go back to the browser. You see, we are going to copy this sample query. We are going to copy that link and we are going to paste it inside of these quotations. So let me just get in there and paste it. Okay, so I have that there. Now we are going to get to the response. We are going to say variable response, all right? equals to then we are going to await so await all right then we are going to it's going to await for the fetch so then we are going to fetch it actually so fetch so we are going to get the fetch all right we are going to use fetch and we are going to add the api url okay cool so now we have that done. It's time to convert the data that we get to JSON. So now let's get that done. So we are going to say variable data equals to await again. And then we are going to use that variable name response.json. All right. So you see, this is what we have so far. And now before we do anything to the data that we get, let's console log it. Let's see what we get in the console. So console log, and we are going to say, for example, data. Okay, let me save it. And let me run this on an external server, All right? So let me just, oops, what did I do? So. Okay. Oops. Okay. So now I have my uh, browser ready. So I'm going to click on port 300 and I'm going to go to the external browser. Now re let me go to inspect and look at the console. So it says our uh, server status 404. Okay. So you know why that happens? Because I'm stupid, I think, and I have not called the function. So every time I have to call the function, so I'm going to say get random activities or activity, I called it. All right. And you add two parentheses there. So now if I save it and if I take a look at it again, you'll notice that this time we will have some information. And this is an object. So you see, it says learn the Chinese arrow. Uh, music and you see we have some information 
So activity, all right? So it says activity. So now I'm, I'm interested in that information. So this is an object and to deconstruct the object, we have to basically come over here right after, you know, where we have the data here, right after the console log. So I'm gonna comment that out for now. So it's not going to cause any for, uh, problem for us. Okay, so right here we will deconstruct the information that we get from that object. So to deconstruct the object, what we have to do now is we have to say variable and then you open two uh, curly braces. And now I'm going to type in activity, so activity, all right, equals to data. Okay, cool. So now we have that information. I mean, we have that activity variable we'll be able to print that out in our application so now we are going to say for example document dot query selector so query selector all right and then open two parentheses and we are going to say two quotations and we're going to select that specific paragraph that we have our empty paragraph here. So I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to copy the class name and I'm going to use the same syntax. So dot my paragraph and I'm going to say dot inner HTML equals to activity. There you go. You see, it says learn how the internet works. So this is the first activity that we get from this API. So now let's say that each three seconds, we want to generate a new activity. So to do that, we will have to recall this function. And to accomplish that, we are going to, uh, you know, delete this call here. And we are going to use something called set interval. And then you open two parentheses and you add the name of the function which is get random activity. That's what I called it, comma, and then 3000. So now we take a look at it. You will notice that we have some activities, all right? And we are getting the information from the API, all right? So I think this is it for this video. And uh, I hope that you have a basic idea about how to fetch an API and how to use the random activities API. Um, if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.